Welcome to Web Systems Assignment Marking. You'll need to do the following. You'll need to go to the Assignments folder and I suggest you click up the Assignment Peer Marker. Best thing to do is to open this in a new window and the simplest way to do this is right mouse button, open in a private or incognito window and the system will ask you to log in. If you don't see this, it means that you're logged into Google already best to log in normally so log in your account and you'll get a form like this now let's go back to our website and check we now need to go to our grade book go to my grades notice you have two user IDs on the peer web go to my grades now at the bottom of this page you'll find an entry called peer web extra credit click on that little balloon it will tell you that you have to mark each of the following CHW and R Heiss so let's try mark CHW first we're going to cut and paste this copy that and it's best to go into a new tab www.student.it.utsedu.au tilde CHW okay Whatever the ID is, you have to type in that account. Now this is the home page, it will vary for every student. Some pages will leap immediately to web systems, some won't, but there should be somehow a link on the website to say go to the assignment answer. So let's try it now, assignment answer. Well, obviously not the world's most spectacular website. Right, let's go back to that window we opened up earlier for web systems marking. It's very important to enter your student number here and your IT user ID. In this case it's your own. And the website ID is what I typed in just then. CHW. In fact, let me make this up. I want to pretend to be Ryan Heiss. Okay, I'll type in website user ID. Okay, it's very important, it's CHW. Now first thing we need to think about is the quality and it's very important that you actually look at the website and don't think too much is the website pleasant and easy to look at it is completely subjective but you have to explain why so let's take a look whoa this is a really uh, clashing system I don't think it's a very pleasant website I'm actually going to say it's not pleasant to look at and explain why the main things I need to state is why you didn't like it well I can think of several reasons uh, the website has a poor background, poor visuals, poor layout, and has a uh, animated GIF, which is very distracting. The website shows or indication of navigation and the color choices make the text hard to read for example okay now is the website easy to navigate let's take a look again hmm where do I actually navigate Where's the past, future, present? Turns out it's on the top right hand corner. Past, future, comments. Very, very difficult to see what the heck this actually is. Let's take a look. So, is it easy to navigate? I would say it's mystery meat. Other color combinations? Mm, bad. Is text readable? No, there's a lot of grey on that background, so you can't really see it. Grey does not make a good choice. In fact, it turns out if you highlight everything, it's easier to read take a look so I say it's uh, basically unreadable is it usable to see this is turned off now you can do this in Firefox but in Internet Explorer it's quite difficult I do suggest you load what's known as the web developer toolkit and I'll show you how to do that extension well, we can just go to F12 I think um, F12 developer toolbar and you can go to the elements we can say styles elements Our device mode, something else, 
video pretty awful style we can say the different types of things we can say it's an iPad Galaxy it's responsive so it is a bit interesting to see it, how it actually looks like on other devices okay right we can also turn off CSS from here or you can load, load the little toolkit read it. So I'll say it could actually work. Another way to do it is to check it if you can print. Print preview. And it is quite visible when it's printed, which is what the CSS print option would look like. So it does actually work with CSS. Does it meet the specification? Yes it does. It's got all four pages, past, future, comments, index. Okay, now let's look at the comments next can find it. Okay, the requirements are, does it describe the overall structure of the website? It mentions some of the websites, but not really clear what these pages are, just a dump. So I would say no, it's generic. Does the comments describe the internal HTML structure? Let's take a look. Comments. Uh, a few technical comments here, if you can barely read it. It mentions I've got a doc type. I use an external link to our sheet. I've got one class called Stamper, a dotty border, two IDs, breadcrumb and nav. Otherwise I've styled the tags directly. I have a pseudo link called link and visited. So, do we describe it? Barely. Do we describe the internal CSS? We did mention a few, two or three, it's up to you. Do the comments discuss the aesthetics of the website? Why it looks this way? Yucky, poor background choice. Um, barely, it does state aesthetics, but it's not really much there. Two or three is what I'll put for that. Um, do the comments discuss accessibility issues? Let's see, does it mention anything about accessibility? Nope, we would expect to see a heading called accessibility. For example, I would say I have alt tags on my images or the screen sizes dramatically. Or yes it does. Or the screen would actually work with people with impaired vision, which you definitely can't use on this website. So I would say none. Overall feedback. Why do you think? Why did you rank the website? I'll put down this is a very poor effort. It uh, it meets the minimum requirements. However, there are no accessibility comments and minimal uh, aesthetic comments. The technical structure do not uh, describe the structure of the website nor do they nor does it uh, describe the uh, internal layout, i.e. template of the website. Poor choice of colours and it almost seems like uh, you have deliberately made a poor website. The most important thing is to click on the send the copy of the responses and submit. I advise you, if you have the chance to, start doing the, uh, the uh, next marking. So you submit another response, and type in the other user that you've got on the list and go for it. The most important thing is you are not required to view the source code of the web page. We've done the technical marking already. Once you've done this, check your email to make sure that you've got a response from Google to say that your form was submitted and your answers are available. This is the way we can check just in case something went wrong. Thank you very much and have a good effort.